Oh, we've seen a lot of the views now. We want to see the browser view next. Now here you'll see on well, the left hand side of our browser view. And you can show and hide this view right here. Um, it's gone and now it's back. This is our browser view. And in our browser view, we can load up instruments, virtual instruments. As you can see here, this is device here. We have instruments. Let me close this up here. And you see we've got virtual instruments. We can load MIDI effects. We can load audio effects as well. So it's a pretty cool way to load up a bunch of effects and get yourself situated in the session. And here we can also load in plugins. But here we can load a third-party plugin. Let's say if we had some other plugins on our system and we want to load it up into live, we go here and activate. Currently we don't have any, so we won't do that. And below here we have our three file browser buttons. Now this first button here, I have it to my library. So in here for my library, I can load clips in, which is right here. I can load samples. I can load presets. You can also load and view lessons here from here as well. As you can see, grooves and defaults as well. And this next browser, I have it set to my own sessions or my own desktop, as you can see here. Stuff on my desktop. Next below that, we have here, we have some samples. I have some loops already from my own Sample Kings loop library. So if I want to hear one of these, I might go to here and say, well, let me hear this one. Uh, let's try this one. It'll load here, you see in the bottom of this browser, and I have to play it, a little headset here, I can go like this. I'm gonna control that preview sound. I can do it here from the master, right here from the master. I go to my next sound if I want to, and preview that. So long as this is open, I can preview what's going on. And I can preview it right there. Also, so I can do my little speaker here. I'm just holding, grabbing it down, and moving it back to here. Stop from there. So I can move to this one I want to start the sample from, and hear it back again by moving my cursor into the sample view here. And when I do, the cursor turns into a speaker. And that's the view of the sample. Now, that's from that, that file right there, and that's the three file browser in the sample. And I can go up here, let's go back up here, and we'll go into um, another view from the library. Now, here's a library here. I can go to the library and go to samples, and I can go in here to the loop masters, and we got drum loops, and I can go to hip hop, and here are some other files I can look at from different ways as well. You can see it's pretty wide, large files. This is, this is joined out perfectly. This is from Loop Masters, which is uh, given to us through Live. So you can always view some of these, and you can also download some free. So you you can go into Live. Live has a lot of free uh, loops you can also download as well and, and bring up into your session here. And if I ever want to do this, I can always grab this file. I can do it earlier and just take it and grab it and put it in here. And I can either put it in here, let's say. I can grab it and put it in here. And it loads in right there. Because part is that clip right there. If I want to view it, I can do it there. If I want to stop it, I can press here to stop. And you see it, it loads right here into my clip view right there. That's pretty cool with samples right there. So you can load samples in directly through live, and you can audition them right there with a live through our live browser. I can scroll up and down, of course, you just saw right there as well. Now what we can also do, we can do MIDI clips. So here's a clip here. Uh, the clips folder and I'll click on this and it'll scroll down here and we see MIDI clips here right and we have grooves we have drums as well we have grooves the MIDI clips the hip-hop groove here and then go down here and we see MIDI clips and I can go to uh, let's go to first one break beat let's go to hip-hop too right here and I can pull this pull this view out a little bit more here and let's see the grooves see the grooves right there so let's see it's grooves as the grooves appear like that so these are just grooves that you have right here. These are just groove files. And then also, I can go to here in drums, go to electronica, and clip here. These are live sets. Let's say I'm going to go to blow out here, more sets. I go here to more sets. I clip down to here, and I clip here. And now we see a MIDI clip. See this? And so now you see down here, just a little longer to load than it as a sample, but now it's playing. This is a MIDI clip playing right here. 
and this MIDI clip is just playing as a MIDI clip. So I can pick the MIDI clip if I want to, and I can drag this MIDI clip if I want to drag it somewhere into a, a, a MIDI part here, and my MIDI clip would appear there. And this would be a MIDI clip, which would be right here. And you would see the MIDI clip, click on it twice, and the MIDI clip will load here into our clip browser as well, just like a sample did. And we'll see the parameters for the MIDI clip. Here we have velocity, and we have the several instruments that we can activate within this clip as part of this whole little kit. This kit here. And you'll see the keyboard's activated. So here, if any of the keyboards, I'm selecting the D key, and that's activating those times that you hear right there. So by hitting the keys on my keypad, I'm able to activate it because this keyboard is activated. The computer keyboard is activated. I can hit these some of these sounds that are in here for this clip. So you can see how we can load clips in, uh, put them into uh, a single session view right there, into a certain part within the track, and we can load those clips right into the session. Now next, I want to go back out of here, and we want to go to instruments. Now here we have instruments right here, and these are instruments. So these are particular instruments. And here's our drum instrument here, which is the impulse, which is part of the live session tracks. So I can go in here and go maybe to this thing called Brain Freeze right here, and click on this, and you'll notice that it doesn't load up into any sort of um, little preview like the MIDI file did or the samples did when I did that right there. Because these are actually kits. So in order to use this kit, I would go here and I would hit the return button. And then, as you can see, it's loading up in there, and this kit is loading. And it says, look, oh, you know, let's we'll see this too. This device is not available for this version, so I need to use Suites for that one. So. I'll go back to another one I might be able to load. Let's just try um, this one here. Hit return. And this one won't load either. So you got to find out which ones will load if you load them in. This is important to know because it took me a while to say, wait a minute, I loaded some stuff in here. Where is it at? Can I use it? Is it, I, is it all possible I can use any of it? But when you do find something you can use, you will be able to load it up and just say, okay, great, I can use this kit totally. And that's what's happening here with this one. So. You can load up some sounds and load up some previews of some sounds as well, too. And this is a preset rack here that I've loaded up here that you can actually use and access. And this is the backbeat. See, this is the backbeat here. And so it's a kit that's loaded up into here. And I can press, I press the A button or S or the B on my keypad. And you can tell from seeing a little me light appear here in the top right hand corner. And that's how we can use and activate some instruments and load them into a track. Or we can also load in MIDI, uh, MIDI files, and we can also load in samples. And right here from our browser, a live browser, right here.